Hello everyone, I know it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, so I wanted to share first off that I'm going to show you how to achieve this glowing summer look. And we're going to be playing with metallics today, which I haven't used in a while, but I'm going to talk to you and show you swatches of Shiomura's Ambush Collaboration, which is new for summer 2017, and it's one of the most well-curated, well-executed collaborations that I've seen in a long time. Not only is everything super stylish and modern, but just the packaging in general is really unique. I love these gold bullets. I think they're super chic and easy to find in any handbag. But I think what I really love about this collection is Ambush's aesthetic. So in case you guys aren't familiar, Ambush is a Tokyo-based jewelry line. I feel like the look and the way they approach texture and design is very funky, but in a wearable, fresh way. The quad packaging is the classic classic Shiomura setup, so that hasn't changed, but the packaging of the lipsticks and the cover of the quad are very similar. It's just that the lipsticks have a red label, whereas the quad has a blue label. I call it a quad because most of the time you see four distinct eyeshadows in here, but instead I have two eyeshadow pans and one cheek pan. So as much as I love this trio, I have to sing praises for the lipsticks. Firstly, we have Ambush Life, which is a matte orange. I love Shomora lipsticks because they're not super drying. They make my lips look fuller, almost as though I've had lip injections. I feel like Ambush Life is really easy to wear, even though it is kind of intimidating in the tube. And then we have Love, which is the red. It has more of a pinky tone. It leans a little bit more pink on my lips. But my favorite of the bunch is Freedom, which I didn't expect to love because it looks like a true brown in the bullet, but it's on my lips and I'm going to show you how I applied it. I'm gonna show it to you on bare lips so you can see exactly how pretty and wearable this color is. Spirit is the only lipstick I'm not crazy about just because it is a brighter pink. A lot of these don't really suit my super tan complexion. In case you guys haven't noticed, I'm like two or three shades darker than I usually am because I've been working out outside a lot. So yes, I am quite tan at the moment. <laughs> now I know this isn't makeup, but this is Shiomura's Ultimate Sublime Beauty Cleansing Oil. This is their signature most expensive uh, cleansing oil, but I wanted to show you the packaging because this is the one that I use every day lately. I've been using Anti-Oxy for years, but I think the Ultimate is better for my skin at the moment just because I've been breaking out so much from stress, from working out, from sweating, the heat, the humidity, everything has just kind of like climaxed and then all this stress shows up on my face. So I love the new Ambush packaging. You can't see how much cleansing oil you have left in here, but you can always tell by weight, you know, just pick it up and then you can tell like, hmm, I should probably order a new one soon. But I love how sleek and glossy and expensive this packaging looks. I love the foil and the metallic theme running through this collection. Not only do you see it in the makeup, but you see it in the packaging packaging as well. I like the design motifs, which makes sense because Ambush is a jewelry brand after all. So now for the star of the show, which are the eye foils, and these are Shiomura's latest addition to their eye makeup line. They make a great base. It's a lightweight gel formula, super, super easy to apply, and you're going to see it again in the tutorial. I'm going to swatch most of them for you, but here I have this Dream Catchers color, which is an exclusive to the Ambush collection. This is the only one out of the entire lineup that's limited edition. So if you like a bright blue, whether you wear want to wear it as an accent or all over color, I highly recommend you pick up Dream Catchers now before it's too late. I just love that they're long lasting and highly reflective. It's hard to get both in one formula, but Shumora definitely pulled it off. And I know a lot of you guys are big, big fans of intense color payoff. So if that's what you're looking for, definitely give these eye foils a try. And last but not least, for the most funky item in the Ambush collection, this is the eyebrow manicure. I have crushed silver, and you don't have to wear this on your eyebrows. I mean, it's great when you're going to a festival or a club, but on the day-to-day, 
if you have a less conservative job, you can use this as a topper for your mascara. And so you get a little sparkle or you can build it up and get a little bit more color payoff. I like how versatile this is. It's great if you want to have a little bit more fun with makeup, but I personally think that the true star is the eye foil just because there are so many wearable shades and you can always mix and match with powder eyeshadows to really intensify the effect, which is what I did today. Now, without any further ado, allow me to show you my take on the Ambush collection. So I'm going to start with the Champagne Gold. The applicator is really interesting and it looks a little bit like their liquid lipstick, but I love how easy it is to apply. Just make sure you don't use too much. The first time I definitely over applied. So I like to use just the edge of the applicator to get around the inner corner. And if you want fuller coverage, you can use the whole applicator to swipe across the eye. It does dry down really quickly. And I think that the problem with a lot of these metallic colors is that they kind of lose that super metallic-y pearly finish once you blend them out. But this looks really intense still. And I'm just going to swipe this along my lower lash line. I mean, just look at how impressively pigmented that is. Now I'm going to take copper, which I think is perfect for everyday wear. It's actually more of a rosy, like slightly tinted copper as opposed to a true copper, which I think bronze would be more appropriate for but this one is really nice because it has a coppery pearl with a pink base and it's super super pretty and flattering now i'm just blending away at the edges and this gel formula is so easy to use with fingertips i, don't, I really don't see the need to use a brush now that we have a smooth smudge proof base i'm going to use my shimura ambush palette i popped in this peachy terracotta blush and I'm going to use the eyeshadow colors to finish off the eye and it looks a lot more metallic on camera than it appears in real life but it's extremely rich really smooth with great color payoff again I'm using my fingertips because I don't see the need for a brush it's just so so pretty and the payoff is pretty intense considering it is more of a sherberty color now I'm going to take the brown from the palette and I'm going to pop this right on the outer corner of the eye. So it has more of an eyeliner effect than an eyeshadow effect as you can see. Focus the majority of the color right on the outside if not a little farther out because I do find that elongates the eye and gives it more of a sultry shape and Ambush is more of a sultry forward thinking brand so I just didn't want to do something that was too young and innocent so to speak. When I come back with my eyes matching and fingertips clean I'm going to put on this blush for you which I'm not wearing so I'll go ahead and show you how to do a little contouring. I think the easiest way to apply blush is to suck in the cheeks. Just pull it in just a little bit and just tap it onto the cheek and blend it gently. You just need to have the tips of the bristles touch your cheek. You don't need too much. When I add a little bit more to the tops of the cheekbones, closer to the temple, dragging it up. It makes my face look a lot more narrow, which is obviously a little bit more photogenic, of course, unless you are going for the baby-faced look and you want to apply blush directly to the apples of the cheeks to make the face look fuller. This side of my face actually has a little bit more angular structure, so I bring the blush closer into the apple of the cheeks and I put less on top here closer to the temple, I focus more on bringing the blush inside the cheek. With a blush shade like this, you can actually use it to accent and kind of tie the whole look together. A hint of color never hurt anyone so long as it's well blended. And last but not least for this tutorial bit, we do have four lip colors to choose from. Today I actually am going to be a little bit more conservative and I'm going to use the tan color just because I know this one is probably the most wearable of the bunch. So I'm going to put this one on for you. It's called Freedom and it's much less brown on my lips than it appears in the bullet, as you can tell. If you wanted to add a touch more color, you could take Ambush Life, which is the red-orange, and pat it in the center of the lips. 
I didn't use very much at all, but immediately it kind of brings out the blush a little bit more. I think it adds more color to my face, so I look a little bit more tan. So just that extra bit when you do makeup can change the whole look. Same thing with hair. Now that I've let my hair down, some of you may or may not like the fact that I put my hair down. So it just depends. I know it's a little bit different. I'm gonna step back so you guys can see the look. Sometimes when I'm too close to the camera, it looks, the makeup Makeup looks different and the overall feel and impression of the makeup is different but as always I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any further questions regarding the products please leave them down for me below in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you please do check out the ambush collection before it's gone I think it's one of the very best that Shiomura has released it's a fabulous collaboration with great packaging great new products I love the textures of everything that I have on my face today and feel free to share your favorites with me on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye!